Remember Polly? X times one is X. Eight-year-old Polly has autism. He wears this GPS tracking device called Angel Sense. It has a listen-in feature that Polly's parents find comforting. But the district says it's against the law to listen in a classroom. We spoke with Polly's mother, Susan Palmentier Wardwell, on the phone to find out what's happened since then. They have been trying to force my husband and I to sign a contract that relinquishes the right for us to activate the listen-in portion and give the school district complete control of it during school hours. Wardwell says since she's challenged the district on her son's rights, she was also terminated. Also, I was a long-term substitute in the district after I completed my 10-week assignment as the Army ROTC instructor at Westwood High School. I was being offered more long-term sub-assignments and told what a great job I did. And then all of a sudden, they fired me and pulled my sub-credential. The district says that she communicated to the district that she was purposely turning down substitute teaching assignments. In addition, the district says they've also given parents information on other tracking devices, like Project Lifesaver. Once I had a pretty strong signal, I just split that pie in the middle and started following. It looks like a watch, but it's a radio frequency transmitter that can be worn around your wrist or ankle. First responders would go out, we've trained and equipped them, and they locate the device based on the unique frequency signals being emitted from the device. It helps figure out where their location is based on those audio cues. Wardwell says parents should have the final say in their kids' safety and not be punished. We felt a calling to come to Fort Pierce to teach in St. Lucie County Schools, and that's where we're supposed to be.